Hola, babe. Hey, what's up? So we've gathered 73 questions that your followers want to uh, ask from you, and cool. uh, maybe it's a cool. Uh, we can make a video out of them. Sounds great. Let's yeah? do it. Okay, cool. So are you ready? Yeah. Alrighty. So first, what is your real name? Hi, I'm Carol. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Where are you from? I'm originally from San Diego, California. All right. Why did you move to El Salvador? I moved to El Salvador for love, for you, babe. <laughs> so how long have you been here? I am actually on my 12th year here. Okay, and why did you start a YouTube channel? Well, originally I started for prosperity's sake. I wanted an excuse to get to know El Salvador better and make memories with my family. Mm -hmm. But it has grown into something so much more than I ever imagined. I'm just so grateful to the community we have here. Nice, and what does your channel name mean? Uh, that expat mom is short for that expatriate mom. Meaning I live in a country other than the one that I was born into. Okay, so an expat is like an immigrant. Exactly, same thing. All right, and your husband is Salvadorian, meaning me? <laughs> <laughs> he is. Carlos is 100% Salvadorian. Okay, and which uh, one of your daughters is Salvadorian? All of my daughters are Salvadorian. Uh, they were all born here. They're all Carlos's daughters. Uh huh. and do they have dual citizenship? The youngest two do, yeah. How are they bilingual? Uh, we are raising them to be bilingual. I think being bilingual is a superpower. Yeah. ¿Hablas español? Sí, puedo hablar español. No puedo hablar perfectamente, pero estoy estudiando y aprendiendo todos los días y mejorando poco a poco. Ok, ¿te gusta el español? Sí, encanto español, claro que sí. Ok, so why is your channel in English? Uh, for two reasons. One, it's my first language. It's the language I feel most comfortable expressing myself in. And secondly, most importantly, I really want the world to get to know El Salvador the way that I see it. Uh, especially people who may have never even heard of El Salvador or worse yet, only know what they've seen on the news. Mm -hmm. So that's why my channel's in English, but I always make sure to include subtitles both in English and Espanol. Okay, so um, another question. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is green. Okay, and what is your zodiac sign? I am a Leo. And what is the most Leo thing about you? <laughs> that I am fiercely loyal. Okay, and what would you say is your best quality? I'm creative. What would you say is your worst quality? I'm stubborn. Yeah. Hey, cuidado, <laughs> cuidado. <laughs> what color are your eyes? They are green. Well, hazel, but they lean green. Okay, what is your biggest turnoff? Racism. What is your pet peeve? I can't stand liars. Okay, do you have any tattoos? I do, I have this one. Okay, nice. Thank what you. does it mean? Uh, it means I will live a life I love. I got it while my aunt was here visiting. What's your greatest vice? Coffee. Would you like some? Yes, please. Okay. So, what's your, your the favorite video you've made so far? My favorite video I've made so far is the seven best reasons to visit El Salvador. How long does it take you to make a video? Uh, it varies. Uh, vlogs are a lot easier to film but harder to edit. But on average, I'd say about three hours per minute of video. Okay. How tall are you? I am five foot seven ish. Okay. And how old are you? I am 39 and six months. I'm almost 40 and I'm totally excited about it. Who's your role model? Uh, my aunt would be my biggest role model. She's been living with stage four metastatic breast cancer for four years now. But she's the most colorful, vibrant woman I know, and she grabs life by the horns and loves her family fiercely. What are, your most, what are you most afraid of? Losing my family. Okay, that's not going to happen. What is your favorite book? My favorite book is The Alchemist. Carlos actually gave it to me, well, you gave it to me, mm -hmm. uh, on my first trip to El Salvador, and it's one of the reasons that I'm here. Yeah. Do you collect anything? I collect memories and uh, coffee cups. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you miss the most from the U.S.? My family. Okay, will you ever move back home? I am home. I, I can't imagine living anywhere else outside of El Salvador anymore. Okay, what's one funny thing that people don't know about you? I over-apologize a lot, especially to inanimate objects. Okay, and uh, what do you prefer? The beach or the mountains? 100% the beach. And do you have a favorite beach in El Salvador? That is hard because there are so many beautiful beaches here, but I'd have to say my favorite is El Tunco because it's the first place I felt at home here. Okay, this is going to be a funny one. Pollo Campero or KFC? Um, Pollo Campero. Here's your coffee. Thank you. What's your favorite type of food? 
Mexican food, anything spicy. Aha. So, what is your favorite Salvadorian food? Pupusas, of course. Yeah, uh, maíz or arroz? Maíz. Okay. So, what does 3R and 2Q mean? Tres revueltas y dos queso. Yeah. What is your favorite thing to do? Spend time with my family. And what is your least favorite thing to do? Clean. <laughs> Do you get along with your mother-in-law? I do. I won the mother-in-law lottery. I have the best suegra in the entire world. Yeah. What has been the greatest accomplishment in your life? My children. Yeah. So what did you want to be when you grew up? I actually wanted to be a mom and to design t-shirts when I grew up. What was your first job? I worked at Blockbuster Video when I was 17. Okay. And what do you do for a living now? I am a full-time stay-at-home mom, homeschooling little girls, and making videos for YouTube. And you. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, somebody asked, what does your husband do for a living? What do I do? Well, uh, that's kind of funny because up until a couple weeks ago, he was a sales manager at a beach resort here in El Salvador, but now he is full-time on Team That Expat Mom. So, yeah. welcome aboard, babe. Gracias. So, do you like meeting subscribers? I do. It's the most awesome thing. I love running into you guys. I apologize in advance because I'm kind of awkward when you meet me in real life, but it's so awesome to meet you guys. What, what, was, uh, what has been the best thing a subscriber has ever said to you? Oh, it has to be whenever they tell me that they are here visiting El Salvador because of my channel. Nice. Yeah, that feels good. That is so rad. So, what do you do on your free time? What free time? <laughs> Do you want any more kids? No, 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 no. I have three perfect girls and that's it. Yeah, thank you. Uh, what are three things you love the most about El Salvador? It would have to be the weather, the people, and just the natural beauty all around. Everything's so green all year round. Did you know anything about El Salvador before coming here? Almost nothing. Uh -huh. Yeah, so what are Salvadorian words that you like using the most? I like using caliche, whatever possible, in my day-to-day -day Spanglish. So that's like Salvadoran slang. I like using words like chucho and guacala. <laughs> All right. And what place do you love the most in El Salvador? My home. My yeah. home is where I feel most comfortable. Nice. Do you dye your hair, Carol? No, I have never dyed my hair. Not yet. It is starting to turn gray, though, so never say never. <laughs> Why do you homeschool your youngest? Um, because of the current pandemic restrictions. Okay, so are the schools in El Salvador good? The schools here are great. I do not keep them home for academic purposes. It's only because of the current pandemic regulations. I cannot wait to send them to regular school this next year. Okay, and uh, how safe is El Salvador? I feel completely safe here. I grew up in San Diego and honestly, I feel safer walking the streets of El Salvador more often than I do walking the streets in some areas of San Diego where I grew up. Okay. Um, do you drive? I do not. I have not driven in 10 years now. And uh, when will you visit the U.S. again? Uh, that is undecided. It's actually really complicated to get a whole family of five plane tickets and transportation uh, to another country, but I'm working on it. Hopefully by the end of this year. How often does your family visit you here? Not as often as I'd like, but my aunt is planning her third visit in the next couple months, so we're nice. pretty stoked. Yay! What are some, some things that you still don't get used to being in El Salvador when it comes to lifestyle? Ooh, that would have to be Salvadoran time. Um, things are a lot slower here, which is really nice. I've slowed down a lot and it's, it's a really great way to live. But when you're in a hurry, it can get a little frustrating. Okay, so if you were to go back to the U.S., what would you miss the most about El Salvador and why? Everything, everything, because I've never felt more at home than I do here. Okay, what's your next project? Oh, I'm, I'm really glad you asked that one. I'm excited about this. We are actually starting a website at thatexpatmom.com and it's going to have all of our videos in one spot, all of our blogs, a directory of That Expat Mom approved locations that you must go see. So I'm really excited to bring that to you very soon. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Okay, so if you could have any wish, what would that be? One more day with my mom. Okay. Um, do you have any brothers or sisters? I have one brother. Yeah, and uh, there's another question about uh, El Salvador. Yeah, are you getting paid from the government to talk about Bitcoin? <laughs> no, I'm not getting paid by the government to make any of my videos. It's just something that I love to do for you guys. And uh, is there anything you would like to say to your followers? 
I would like to say thank you for each and every one of you. We just reached 20,000 subscribers the other day and my mind is blown. I am so, so grateful for the community that we have cultivated on my little corner of the internet. So thanks you guys so much for everything. All right, that's awesome. Those are 73 questions. Thank you, babe. <laughs> thank you. All right, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. <laughs> Peace out. Peace out. Peace out.